Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Praise be to God. May the Lord bless you all this evening. This evening we are gathered in the house of the Lord to give thanks to the Lord for the beautiful and fragrant life of Brother Thomas Matthew. From his young age, by God's grace, he walked with the Lord. He was part, part of this apostolic fellowship. We thank the Lord for all what God has done in and through his life. The work which the Lord began in his life was, life was brought to perfection uh, last Friday on June uh, 23rd. As the church knows here, uh, he had some afflictions in his body and we were crying out to God for deliverance and healing. Our God is our healer. He is the savior of our soul and the healer of our body. So we trust in God for salvation and we trust in our Jesus for healing also, praise be to God. We cried out to God for the Lord to extend his life, knowing that he is a young father and young husband. We uh, decided for him to be with us for some more time, but the Lord has decided to complete the work and take him home. Thursday night, uh, which was June 22nd, um, I was also with the family praying, and uh, I could see he was experiencing um, tremendous uh, bodily pain. But one thing I noticed that uh, he, uh, even in his um, pain and agony and distress, he was loudly saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And uh, then um, after a good while of prayer, I was thinking about um, coming home, coming back to the faith home. Then uh, he requested to sing a song. Whenever I visited by Thomas, he never asked me to sing a song always. I took the initiative to share the word of God, to sing, etc. But this time, um, he asked, uh, asked us to sing a song. I was not at that moment uh, prepared to sing a song, but um, the Lord gave me a Malayalam song uh, at that time, which uh, we sang, the whole family sang that song uh, together <coughs> and um, in that song part of the song says now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy unto him be glory and honor amen so when we said Amen, I felt something in my spirit. Amen. Work is done. Then after I came back to the faith home, I was reflecting on his request and that song in my uh, spirit, I began to sense time has come that God is going to perfect the work and take him home next day morning before noon God completed the work and took him home tonight without any doubt we know that brother Thomas is in the bosom of Jesus Christ can someone say Amen praise be to God he uh, placed his faith and trust and confidence in Christ. Jesus was his 
savior uh, he loved the lord he uh, obeyed the lord in the waters of baptism he kept the commandments of god and uh, he grew up in the house of god i came here to philadelphia little over four years ago i always uh, knew him as a gentle person uh, i could see the meekness of christ very much evident uh, in his life we thank the lord for his life we thank the lord for all what god has accomplished in and through his life this evening we are gathered here to praise god for uh, for the work of grace that was accomplished in the life of brother thomas because of his absence uh, with us there is pain and grief in the heart may the lord strengthen uh, susan and uh, the children grace godwin and gloria we thank the lord for uh, brother thomas's um, our parents brother james and sister dali um he has one sister lenny she uh had a desire to come but uh, she could not obtain a visa because of that she couldn't come may the lord comfort her and her family we thank the lord for brother daniel kutty and sister janet james and sneha they all um really uh took good care of uh brother thomas he thanked the lord for the grace that was granted to all of them may the lord strengthen them all this evening amen shall we please stand in the house of the lord this evening i want to encourage the family members the church members and all the other dear ones uh, who are here from near and far shall we really raise up our voices together and uh, praise our god for all what god has accomplished in and through brother thomas's life his earthly remains are here but the real person the real thomas is in the bos- bosom of jesus uh, awaiting resurrection um let us really praise god let us really I thank the Lord for the beautiful life of Mother Thomas. Shall we? Shall we praise God? Thank you, Lord. Praise 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 you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you Lord praise 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 you Lord The Lord Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14 verses uh, 1 to 3 Let not your heart be troubled You believe in God believe also in me In my father's house are many mansions If it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you unto myself that where i am there ye may be also these are very comforting words dear children of god yes it's a time of uh, grief and pain but at the same time our jesus is with us to comfort our hearts our jesus is uh, preparing at holy city new jerusalem for the bride of christ once the work has been completed we will be raptured to glory for this glorious hope that we have in christ shall we praise god thank you lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord <coughs> thank you lord praise the lord praise the lord Thank you Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord Thank you Lord praise the 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 Lord Shall we bow our heads in prayer Gracious and loving heavenly Father we praise you and thank you for Jesus Christ 
your beloved son and our blessed savior lord jesus this evening we love you because you first loved us you loved the church and gave yourself on the cross of calvary for the church therefore we give you thanks this evening lord we are gathered here to really give you thanks for the beautiful and fragrant life of brother thomas mathi lord we thank you lord for enabling him to walk with you all these years lord yes lord from his young age uh, he knew christ as his personal savior and lord to fulfill the righteousness of god in his life he obeyed the lord in the waters of baptism thereafter he continued in the fellowship of the saints of god he was part of this apostolic fellowship where he could grow in the where he could grow in the divine natures of jesus christ yes that work of grace was brought to perfection last friday on june 23rd and tonight without any doubt we know that he is in the bosom of jesus awaiting resurrection thank you lord for the family members comfort every heart this evening lord as we sing songs and worship you you be pleased with us you are the god of comfort you are the god of peace and consolation with the comfort of the holy spirit let the children of god be comforted we commit ourselves and this entire service this evening into your hands whatever you want to do in our midst please do it we give you all the glory and praise thank you father bless thy children in jesus precious name amen while remain standing we will sing uh, some familiar songs and worship our god number 168 great is thy faithfulness 168 great is thy faithfulness o god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest Thou hast been, thou forever 
great faithfulness in our lives. His eyes are ever upon us. His hands are always upon us. Never for a moment has he left us alone. Through all the seasons of life, the Lord has been faithful. Can we praise him tonight? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, Lord Jesus. We bless you for your great faithfulness, O oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Lord God. Hallelujah, bless you, Savior, hallelujah. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine, number 304. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. Born of His Spirit, 
washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my the day long, praising my Savior all the day long, praising my Savior all the day long. Seven three six. I'll fly away. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. Oh, yeah. 
we can praise and thank God tonight. The word of God is very true. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. Even in the life of Brother Thomas, he's made all things beautiful. And in his time, he took him home. And that is the beauty of the Lord. For that shall we all praise and thank God tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, O oh God, your great goodness in his life. Thank you for your great love, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. We bless you, O oh God. We praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we kindly take our seats in the house of God tonight? For the reading of the scriptures. Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 to 10. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened. Not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought us for the self, same thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that he sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with them. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 7. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. 
And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Praise the Lord. Now we will go for the reading of the eulogy at this time. Thomas Matthew was born on December 15, 1983, in Alipur, Kerala, India. He was the second child and only son of P.T. Matthew and Darley Matthew, the younger brother of Lenny Matthew. During his childhood, Thomas was a happy and energetic little boy with an adventurous spirit and a keen curiosity about the world. He was a loyal and playful younger brother to his older sister, with whom he shared a special bond. From a young age, his nature was unmistakably one of love and compassion, and also included a healthy dose of mischief. As a byproduct of his mischievousness, he often received correction, but accepted them with a smile on his face and a positive attitude. Thomas attended school in Alipura from his elementary education to his undergraduate degree in business administration. During his youth, he was proudly involved in the Alipura Assembly of the Pentecostal Mission, which he attended along with his family. He became saved at a very young age, and at the age of 16, he was baptized in water while attending the Chennai Youth Camp. Thomas was very active in evangelization and was not ashamed or reluctant to share the gospel with others. He loved serving God and others and was generous with his time and whatever resources were available to him. He never missed an opportunity to lend a helping hand. The once mischievous little boy became an adventurous and kind-hearted young man known for his love and generosity. Upon earning his undergraduate degree, Thomas moved to Bangalore, India, where he earned his Master of Business Administration, majoring in marketing. After his studies, he worked at a bank in India for two years, and then worked in Qatar for another two years. During his time in Qatar, his relationship with God deepened, and he experienced many spiritual blessings. On May 28, 2012, in Alipura, Thomas married Susan Daniel, daughter of P.K. Danikati and Janet Daniel of Philadelphia. Shortly thereafter, he moved to the United States to join his wife and her family. There, he attended the New Testament Church Philadelphia Assembly. Once again, his love for God was evident through his dedication to various ministries, including evangelizing and visiting the patients at local hospitals. God blessed Thomas and Susan with a fulfilling family life, gifting them with three beautiful children, Grace, Godwin, and Gloria. Thomas was a devoted husband and father, taking on his domestic roles with ease. As he began his life in the US, Thomas decided to change his career and pursue a degree in nursing from Gwynedd Mercy University. After graduation, he began working at Jefferson Health as a registered nurse, where his naturally compassionate and caring personality proved to be a great asset when it came to helping and supporting his patients and his colleagues. In August 2022, Thomas was diagnosed with a terminal illness that progressed rapidly. Throughout his illness, he maintained a positive mindset and a persevering spirit, and even returned to work during his treatment to help support his family. In March 2023, he decided to visit India to be with loved ones. He traveled all over to spend quality time with friends and family. During this trip, he attended the Chennai Convention, seeking a healing touch from God. Upon his return from India, he was hospitalized once again as his health continued to deteriorate. Despite his treatment options becoming more and more limited, he kept his faith and maintained constant contact with the servants of God in both Philadelphia and Alipura. He was strengthened by their prayers. Thomas was deeply moved by the outpouring of love, support, and prayers from his church, his friends, family, and colleagues. In June of 2023, his health took a turn for the worse. 
During his final days, Thomas committed himself and his family into the arms of God, trusting that he will supply all their needs. On the evening of June 22nd, Thomas's local minister paid a visit and prayed with him. At Thomas's request, the pastor stayed longer to sing and pray as they praised God together in the midst of his pain and breathing difficulty. As his body weakened, he closed his eyes and prayed aloud, asking God to forgive his sins, surrendering his soul into the hands of his Savior. Those prayers were his last words. Thomas peacefully entered his eternal rest on Friday, June 23rd at 11.15 a.m., surrounded by love in the arms of his mother and his wife. Thomas is survived by his wife, Susan, his children, Grace, Godwin, and Gloria, his parents, Matthew and Darley, his sister, Lenny, her husband, Seji, and his niece, Axa. Thomas will be dearly missed by his many loving aunts, uncles, and cousins, and his friends from far and wide. A short and beautiful life, well lived. As it says in Psalm 1830, as for God, his way is perfect. At this time, I'll also read a few testimonies from loved ones who couldn't be here today. The first I will be reading is Meryl Matthew, Thomas's cousin from India. My name is Manu. I am Thomas's first cousin. I am the firstborn of my parents, but I grew up as the youngest brother to Lenny Chechi and Thoma Chachin at their house, Kripalian. During my childhood from 1996 to 2000, I had only one Achachin in my life, and it was Thomachin. He was my loyal supporter, the one who took the punishment for the mischievous activities that I was also keenly a part of. Not just one or two, but numerous memories flashed before my eyes. Our wrestling sessions at home, bicycle trips to the beach, watching him experiment with his motorcycle riding skills, sharing our love for Parota, and much more. Even though Darli Amici and Lenny Chechi took care of my needs, I always chose to be with the boys team with Thomachin. Of the many childhood memories that I treasure, one important memory is how he helped me conquer my fear of darkness. I was scared to step outside the house alone at night, no matter who tried to motivate me by saying there was nothing to be afraid of. One night, Ajitin was sitting outside on the ground and he called me to sit with him. He showed me the sky and said, look at how beautiful it is. I sat down next to him and gazed at the calm, starry night sky. He was right, it was beautiful. With that, my fear of darkness left me overnight. I can't express how deeply it hurts to think that I couldn't be with him during his darkest hours. His simple attitude toward life has inspired me. Knowing that he has gone to a place where there is no darkness is what gives us peace. I will miss you, my Echecha. Next, I will read the testimony from Stacy and Jibin, Susan's cousin from Texas. We want to praise and thank God for the life of Thomas Echechen. I was able to attend Susan's engagement and wedding in India, and that's where I first met Thomas Echechen and his entire family. I didn't know much about him, but I liked him right away when I found out that he was fluent in English, and I didn't have to embarrass myself to have a conversation in Malayalam. I did, however, judge him knowing he was born and raised in India. Typically, men would do all the manual labor while women would take care of everything else in the household in India. When Thomas Hutchinson came to America, one of the first things I vividly remember was him being in the kitchen and serving tea to my parents and cousins while Susan was working. I was stunned to see this happen because men are rarely seen in the kitchen. It made me realize the type of man Thomas Hutchinson was, a humble, hardworking, and selfless individual. These characteristics were not only seen in the house, but in church and other environments as well. At convention, he would always sign up for various duties, and he was often the first one to sign up for shuttle and airport pickups. At last year's convention, he had pain and discomfort, but he was still volunteering to do various ministries without any reservation. Thomas Echecha was a great father for his three children and a loving and supporting husband to Susan. His life is a great example to both of us for what it means to walk humbly with God. We pray that God will comfort the family at this time and grant them peace. We are praying for you. With love, Stacy and Jibin Moreo. Finally, I'll be sharing my own testimony. I am Lydia from Toronto, Thomas's second cousin on his mom's side. But because our moms grew up like sisters, he always felt more like a first cousin to me. In my earliest memories of Thomas Chacha, I remember thinking he was the coolest guy ever. He was always doing naughty things that I was unfortunately too small to be a part of. Throughout the years, I would hear stories about his adventures and his parents worrying about his motorcycle trips. 
These are meant to be a cautionary tale, but they only succeeded in making him seem even cooler. When he got married to Susan Chechi, I was so excited for him to move to the US, just a road trip away from me. It was here that I got to know him better, adult to adult. I noticed his loving and compassionate personality, how his heart melted easily, how his generosity saw no limits, and how his fervent loyalty was extended to family and friends alike. I was also very surprised to see my favorite daredevil become a devoted husband and father. He was a natural at family life. During one visit to Philadelphia, we went on a drive into the city, just he and I. We chatted about life, our mutual love for exploring new things and places, his favorite hangout spots in the city, and how happy he was here, growing his beautiful family. I will treasure that drive forever. Last year, shortly before his diagnosis, he came to Canada for my wedding. I didn't make it easy for anyone by picking a more remote area of Canada for the wedding, but there wasn't a moment of hesitation for him. He and Susan Chagey packed up the van with three kids in tow to drive and fly over for the wedding. I appreciate that beautiful demonstration of his love for our family. I will never forget it. Last fall, we came and visited Philly, and I was glad that my husband, Paul, had the opportunity to spend quality, quality time here and get to know Thelma Chachin a little better. It broke my heart to see him suffering over the past year, but his positivity and strength were an inspiration. He led us by example with his loving heart and generous spirit. I hope we can honor his memory by living out those same attributes. Thelma Chacha, it was my honor to love you and be loved by you. Amen. Now we will have uh, um, selected testimonies. But before that, um, the family members asked us to sing a Malayalam song, which uh, Thomas uh, liked it very much from his uh, uh, young age. If you know that song, um, you can sing with us. I'm going to ask the brothers to please come forward and sing that song. Um, if you would like to be seated, that's fine. Uh, after the song, family members should be uh, ready to uh, give their testimonies. If there is anybody here who cannot um, stay uh, for the rest of the meeting, we want to give you an opportunity. Uh, we will, uh, the service will not be too long. Uh, definitely, we are trying to finish everything by nine o'clock. But if you have to leave uh, soon, uh, while we sing that song, with the help of the ashes, you can quietly come and um, view the body. Uh, but once again, for the church members and all, we should not come forward at this time. Any visitors here, if you are not able to continue to stay here for too long, while we are going to sing this song, um, Ashesh, you may help. You can come forward and uh, pay your respect. This song is about, uh, as a family requested, it's about the hope and preparation to see Jesus. And the stanza says that I will see Jesus and I will hear his sweet voice and I will see uh, Jesus who is my husband and I will see him face to face. In priya nam nadan, in pir kuruku men, shashwad geha pugiduwa. In priya nam nadan, in pir kuruku men, shashwad geha pugiduwa. Nyan paradesh parkumi parthalam vittida po. Kaadum karta vine kirkum irma nadam kaadu men pratya se in padiyam priye ne nyanabhi mukama nyan kaadu. Nyan ka, 
ഞാൻ കാണും കർത്താവിനെ കേൾക്കും ഇൻപനാദം കാണുമെൻ പ്രത്യാശയിൻ പതിയാം പ്രിയനെ ുഖമാണും കർത്താവിനെ കേൾക്കും ഇൻപനാദം കാണുമെൻ പ്രത്യാശയിൻ പതിയാം പ്രിയനെ ഞാനഭിമുഖമാ എഞ്ചടം മണ്ണായി മറഞ്ഞു പോമെങ്കിലും കാഹളനാദം ധ്വനിച്ചിടുമ്പോൾ എഞ്ചടം മണ്ണായി മറഞ്ഞു പോയെങ്കിലും കാഹളനാദം ധ്വനിച്ചിടുമ്പോ നിദ്ര കൊള്ളും തൻ വിശുദ്ധരുമായെന്നു ഞാനും ഉയർത്തിടുമേ കാനും കർത്താവിനെ കേൾക്കും ഇമ്പനാദം കാണുമെൻ പ്രത്യാശയിൻ പതിയാം പ്രിയനെ ഞാനഭിമുഖമാ ഞാൻ കാനും കർത്താവിനെ കേൾക്കും ഇമ്പനാദം കാണുവൻ പ്രത്യാശയിൻ പതിയാം പ്രിയനെ ഞാനഭിമുഖമാ എന്നിലിഹേതെല്ലു പോലും പുകേടുവ നന്മയായൊന്നു മില്ലായിരുന്നു എന്നിലിഹേതെല്ലു പോലും പുകേഴുവാൻ നന്മയായൊന്നുമില്ലായിരുന്നു ഉള്ളതെല്ലാം പൊന്നുനാഥൻ്റെ വൻ കൃപദാനങ്ങളായിരുന്നു ഞാൻ കാണും കർത്താവിനെ കേൾക്കും ഇൻപനാഥം കാണുമൻ പ്രത്യാശയിൻ പതിയാം പ്രിയനെ ഞാൻ അഭിമുഖമാ ഞാൻ കാണും കർത്താവിനെ കേൾക്കും ഇമ്പനാദം കാണുമൻ പ്രത്യാശയിൻ പതിയാം പ്രിയനെ ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ഏത് പരിശുദ്ധമായ നമ്മൾ വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെടുമാറാകട്ടെ ഇത് അനുഗ്രഹീതമായ ഇന്നലെ ദിവസത്തിനായി ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തിന് സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു എൻ്റെ പേര് എ ബി എബ്രഹാം എന്നാണ് എൻ്റെ ഒരു അനുജനാണ് തോമസ് മാത്യു അതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം പ്രിയ ജെയിംസ് ചാൻ്റെ ഒരു മകനാണ് ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ ബ്രദർ രണ്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ മൂന്ന് പേരാണ് ജെയിംസ് ചാൻ മക്കളായി കാണുന്നത് ആ മക്കളായിട്ട് കാണുന്നത് തോമാച്ചൻ്റെ ജനനം മുതൽ അവൻ്റെ അവസാന സമയം വരെയുള്ള ആയ എല്ലാ സമയങ്ങളിലും അവൻ്റെ കൂടെ നിൽക്കുവാനുള്ളൊരു ഭാഗ്യം എനിക്ക് ലഭിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് വെൻ വി ബോൺ എയ്റ്റി ത്രീ ഐ വാസ് ദേർ വെൻ വി പാസ്റ്റ് അവേ ഐ വാസ് ദേർ വിത്ത് ഹിം ടു all his age the day he go to school the day he go to the operator meeting he always with us after his high school studies he went to mba in bangalore then james sand told me take him to the uh, qatar in our company i take him to the qatar company then he worked a couple of years there then god give us a uh, susan 
then James said, James said, told us, Ingat apa orang itu? Niaya ke orang itu mana? Nanya ini dengan sama dikira mana? Kayaknya patut wajah tu nombor. Amin ini berapa orang? Iraj itu leh, lah, nan mula mula, abang na, abri, anu bumi pan dah kena sahaya itu. When he went to the nursing, my wife told him to go study nursing. That is better. It's not MBA. Marketing is not that much better. But he did. He worked last four years. But but and they even. Endo aje, ini nama kita baru yang nari apakah tidak? Dewa itu coidin cia nama kita tidak. Nalai dewa melam tak kesamai itu nanna i cia ini dewa ini yang wisu si kita. Yang aku ani ini anu nasta petado. Sondam ani jenah pola ni ke ni ke baru ani jenah anda. Ini adalah sahodir. Yang ini perari orang tu ini kan dewa sampai cial. Enda karinggal cia anda enda thom macin. Ini ke Mumbai keran duai. Ani ni kete duka munda. Enna sarwa sektena ay dewi om nyangalay oki om anigrihi kete, mari kini dina rendu dua semumbu. Nyana awen kanda pol, awen pernah daya awasan ay wak. Nyana awen tinggal sana nyata aro nda pol, awen ada sabdan kertu. Anisusam nyana mall oti jendu pertegum, nyana susen ay tu nade karinggal pernah daya pol, susen ay kap pernah daya uru wak kita ano. Ebi caya parah in dulu sanjaya. Anu berada nak kerana boi, ni anggota kudumbam, wadi iba duk kerja ukir darana. Perjuangan James Chan, ni anggup pidawa, dalam mama ni anggup mada, ni anggota segala kari tinum, awan undai, awal awal undai irunno, awan undai irunno. Enal, ini logo tu, segala rumah terputum, pum, awal neerite pum, mana lawasan nama ibu ruak, perwakshe awan kelakun dilai riga. Daniel perjuangan empat nanda madia, mada lawasan nama ruak kimi pragaan perayaanmu. Nio Daniel yang nampar ini dah ayah bawa itu ida anak orang guna Nio Thomas sepoi kulga. Kala wasan itu nindi oh hari kai, bayum pol, windum kana mandala Kristi ya pratiyasa orang. Nyalgal nina kubeda chulun. Nyalgal spradhanam cina bedel international church sendiri, aman joli dah ayah chrome tu international international day. Macam tu, ella ella Kurang ajar deh. Perkara itu adalah pertanyaan sih. Nyeri nuan tu, yang dah wakil yang beri mencurun tu, deh um, yang lain beri um, asyik sepi ke mana kita. I would like to read a few testimonies and messages from the believers and friends from Thomas's home church in Anapura, Kerala, India. Devathina Stodra. Anapura Ilinam, Sahodarangalaya, Joseph, Kuchumon, Bibimon, Biju, Sibi Peter, and the very reason of that. Tanda Faktan Marana Maranam, Ehoviki Vileria Dagundu. Priya Thomas, Walau demi adat lagi, Allah jiwa itu naik cerun do. Tanpa pola, orang sahodar ne, orang magan ne, kutgar ne, apne ne, hartawan ne, bishwasi ne, lebih kena tanpa curik kamaran. Tanpa jiwa itu, ala pura sahaja orang prakasha mai itu do. Elia beri adat lagi, kena dulu, enda mumpandi lai itu do. Sunday se Thomas, walau demi adat lagi, Allah jiwa itu naik cerun do. Tanpa pola, orang sahodar ne, orang magan ne, kutgar ne. Tikshna deh orang orang pidawa ayat no. Apa pidawa ini deh? Atmiya tikshna da, nyangal awenil khandi rono. Bishwasa fawanatile, ellah pravarti golilum, awen nyangal orang dapam munbandi lun dai rono. Nyangalakal prayatil pinban ayat no engilum. Nyangalakal munbe bishwasta deh orang orang deh awen deh autumn tikacu. Windom Yesu kartha awen orang orang deh awen mukha mukha khanam enda pratiyashi orang orang deh alpreel no nam sahodrangal. Jadi pola dengannya alat perjalanan brother Reginald itu kurang bau. 
തൻ്റെ ഭക്തന്മാരുടെ മരണം യഹോവയ്ക്ക് വിലയേറിയതാവുന്നു എന്ന് തിരുവഴുത്ത് പറയും പോലെ ഒരു വിലയേറപ്പെട്ട മരണമായി തോമസിനെ ഞങ്ങൾ കാണുന്നു താൻ ആയിരുന്ന സ്ഥാനങ്ങളിലൊക്കെയും ഒരു മാതൃകാ ജീവിതം നയിക്കുവാൻ സാധിച്ചു തൻ്റെ ആ ആകസ്മികമായ വേർപാട് ഞങ്ങൾ ദുഃഖിക്കുന്നു എങ്കിലും നിത്യതയിൽ സ്വർഗീയ പിതാവിനോട് ചേർന്ന് വസിക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ള പ്രത്യാശയിൽ ഞങ്ങളും സന്തോഷിക്കുന്നു നല്ല പേർ സുഗന്ധ തൈലത്തെക്കാളും മരണ ദിവസം ജനന ദിവസത്തെക്കാളും ഉത്തമം വിരുന്ന് വീട്ടിൽ പോകുന്നതിനേക്കാൾ വിലാപഭവനത്തിൽ പോകുന്നത് നല്ലത് അതല്ലോ സകല മനുഷ്യരുടെയും അവസാനമെന്ന് സഭാപ്രസംഗിയോടുകൂടി ചേർന്ന് പറവാൻ തോമസിൻ്റെ ജീവിതം ഇടയാക്കി അതോർത്ത് ദൈവത്തിന് സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ആലപ്പുഴയിൽ നിന്നും ജാക്സൺ പീറ്റർ ഞാൻ ജാക്സൺ പീറ്റർ ആലപ്പുഴ സഭാവിശ്വാസിയാണ് സ്നേഹിതനോ എല്ലാ കാലത്തും സ്നേഹിതൻ അനർത്ഥ ദിവസത്തിൽ അവനൊരു സഹോദരനായി തീരും പ്രിയ തോമസ് ചേട്ടൻ എനിക്ക് മാത്രമല്ല ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സഹോദരനായിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ കഷ്ടങ്ങളിൽ ദുഃഖങ്ങളിൽ എല്ലാം ഞങ്ങളുടെ സഹോദരനായി ഞങ്ങൾക്കൊപ്പം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ആലപ്പുഴ സഭ ഒന്നാകെ ഇത്രയധികം വേദനിച്ച ഒരു വേർപാട് ഇതുവരെ ഉണ്ടായിട്ടില്ല എന്നത് തോമസ് ചേട്ടൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ആരായിരുന്നു എന്നതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ഉദാഹരണമാണ് അത് ഞങ്ങൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നു നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവായ യേശു ക്രിസ്തു തൻ്റെ ഹ്രസ്വമായ മുപ്പത്തി മൂന്നര വയസ്സിനിടയിൽ പിതാവായ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ പരിപൂർണ ഇഷ്ടം പൂർത്തിയാക്കി തന്നെ ഏൽപ്പിച്ച പ്രവൃത്തികളെല്ലാം നിറവേറ്റി നിവൃത്തിയായി എന്ന് ഘോഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ദൈവസന്നിധിയിലേക്ക് എടുക്കപ്പെട്ടു നമ്മുടെ തോമസ് ചേട്ടനും തൻ്റെ മുപ്പത്തൊമ്പത് വർഷത്തെ അല്പമായ ജീവിതത്തിനിടയിൽ തന്നെക്കുറിച്ചുള്ള ദൈവഹിതം നിറവേറ്റി എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്നേഹവും നന്മകളും ദാനങ്ങളും നൽകി തൻ്റെ യൗവനത്തിൽ തന്നെ തൻ്റെ ഓട്ടം തികച്ചു കർത്താവിൽ വിശ്രമിക്കുന്നു ദുഃഖത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്ന ഏവരെയും കർത്താവ് തൻ്റെ ദൈവിക സമാധാനത്താൽ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ കാഹളം ധ്വനിക്കുന്ന നല്ല സുദിനത്തിൽ തോമസ് ചേട്ടനെ മുഖാമുഖം കാണാം എന്ന പ്രത്യാശയോടുകൂടി നിർത്തുന്നു ആലപ്പുഴ തിരുവമ്പാടിയിൽ നിന്നും എക്സ്ക്യൂസ് മീ ബ്രദർ ജിജിയും കുടുംബവും പ്രിയ തോമസിൻ്റെ വേർപാടിൽ അതിയായ ദുഃഖമുണ്ട് എങ്കിലും നിത്യതയിൽ വീണ്ടും കാണാമെന്ന് പ്രത്യാശിക്കുന്നു ദുഃഖത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്ന കുടുംബാംഗങ്ങളെ ദൈവം ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ തൻ്റെ സമാധാനത്താൽ നിറയ്ക്കട്ടെ സ്തോത്രം ഓൾസോ ഷാജി ചാക്കോ ആൻഡ് ഫാമിലി സെൻഡ് ദെയർ കണ്ടോളൻസസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രേയേഴ്സ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് മെസ്സേജ് ഇസ് ഫ്രം കുഞ്ഞുമോൻ തോമസസ് പെറ്റേണൽ അങ്കർ ദൈവത്തിന് സ്തോത്രം എൻ്റെ പേര് കുഞ്ഞുമോൻ ഞാൻ തോമസിൻ്റെ പിതൃസഹോദരനാണ് തോമസിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ഇങ്ങനെയൊരു സാക്ഷ്യം പറയേണ്ടി വരുമെന്ന് ഞാൻ പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ചതേയില്ല അവൻ്റെ വേർപാടിൽ എനിക്ക് അഗാധമായ ദുഃഖമുണ്ട് എൻ്റെ ജ്യേഷ്ഠൻ്റെ മകനായിരുന്നു എങ്കിൽ കൂടെ തോമസ് എനിക്ക് ഒരു മകനെ പോലെയായിരുന്നു തോമസിൻ്റെ എട്ടാം വയസ്സുവരെ അവൻ്റെ വീട്ടിൽ തന്നെ ആയിരുന്നു ഞാനും ആ സമയത്ത് ഏതെങ്കിലും കാര്യങ്ങൾക്ക് അവനെ ശിക്ഷിച്ചാൽ ഒരു പിണക്കമോ പരിഭവമോ വച്ചു പുലർത്താത്ത സ്വഭാവമായിരുന്നു തോമസിൻ്റേത് ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ തന്നെ അനുസരണത്തിലും ദൈവഭയത്തിലുമാണ് അവൻ വളർന്നത് എല്ലാ ദിവസവും വെളുപ്പിന് അഞ്ച് മണിക്ക് തന്നെ സ്തോത്ര പ്രാർത്ഥനയ്ക്കായി ഒരു മടിയും കൂടാതെ എഴുന്നേൽക്കുമായിരുന്നു എനിക്കും എൻ്റെ കുടുംബത്തിന് അവൻ പ്രിയങ്കരനായിരുന്നു രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് സെപ്റ്റംബറിൽ തോമസും കുടുംബവും നാട്ടിൽ വന്ന സമയത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾ നാല് പേരും കോവിഡ് ബാധിച്ച കഷ്ടതയിലായിരുന്നു വീടിന് പുറത്തേക്കോ മറ്റാവശ്യങ്ങൾക്കോ പോകുവാൻ സാധ്യമായിരുന്നില്ല എങ്കിലും അവൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഭക്ഷണ സാധനമായി സാധനങ്ങളുമായി രാവിലെയും വൈകിട്ടും വന്നിരുന്നത് ഓർക്കുന്നു തോമസിൻ്റെ രോഗവിവരം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിരണ്ടിൽ തോമസിൻ്റെ രോഗവിവരം അറിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങൾ പൂർണ്ണമായി തകർന്നുപോയി അവൻ്റെ സൗഖ്യത്തിനായി ഉപവസിക്കുകയും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു വിശ്വാസ ഭവനത്തിലെ എല്ലാ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളും ഉത്സാഹിയായിരുന്നു ഒരു മടിയും കൂടാതെ ഏത് ജോലിയും ചെയ്യുവാനുള്ള മനസ്സൊരുക്കം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു തോമസിന് ഒരുപാട് വേദനകൾ സഹിക്കേണ്ടി വന്നു എങ്കിലും ദൈവം അവനിൽ ആരംഭിച്ച പ്രവൃത്തി പൂർത്തീകരിച്ച് ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ ചേർത്തതിനാൽ ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു ഐ ഓൾസോ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു സേ ഫ്യൂ വേർഡ്സ് അബൌട്ട് മൈ നേ ഫ്യൂ തോമസ് ഐ എം സുജ ജോർജ് ഫ്രം ടൊറാണ്ടോ കാനഡ തോമസസ് മദർ ഡാലി ഇസ് മൈ കസിൻ മൈ സിബ്ലിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഐ കൺസിഡർ ഡാലി ടു ബി അവർ ഓൺ ബിഗ് സിസ്റ്റർ ഹി കോൾഡ് തോമസസ് പേരൻസ് ഡാലി മാമ ആൻഡ് ജെയിംസ് ചൈൽഡ് they were always ready and willing to help those around them their house was always filled with love and warmth thomas grew
as a happy and energetic child full of love. He was mischievous too. And it was fun to just watch him in his childhood days. Then he grew up into an adventurous young man. He loved going on long, long drives and especially enjoyed riding his motorcycle. His parents were not comfortable with his passion for motorcycles, yet he somehow always found a way to ride. His adventurous side was balanced by his compassionate one. He was very involved in his local church. Evangelization was just one aspect of it. He was always ready to lend a hand to everyone around him. I watched him grow into a godly man, an exemplary son, a supportive brother, a loving husband to Susan, and a devoted father to grace, Godwin, and Gloria. As a family, we visited Thomas in 2017. I was surprised to see the adventurous little boy settled into a calm, into the calmness of domestic life. We had the privilege of visiting him a few more times over the years and were blessed to experience his and Susan's love and hospitality. Thomas and his family visited Canada in May 2022 for our daughter's wedding. We had a wonderful time traveling together that week. We parted ways saying he would visit Toronto again to spend more time together, but God had other plans. When we visited Thomas last year, he was sick but his priority was making sure we were comfortable and taken care of. During his sickness, he maintained a positive attitude. It breaks my heart to say goodbye to a child I watched grow up before my eyes, but God's ways are higher than ours. And me, he makes all things beautiful in his time. We have the hope and assurance that we will meet our Thomas again in glory. I also want to take this opportunity to convey the con condolences, love, and prayers from my brother Bijoy and his wife Suman and their children, as well as my sister Joyce, my husband Joji, and their children. May the Lord of peace comfort everyone. Praise the Lord. My name is Jensen, and we here are representing the Susan's first cousins. Thomas was known for his infectious smile and his positive can do attitude. I remember Tom and Sue's wedding day very clearly, and I remember that week sitting at our house in India, him coming up and sitting beside me. The thing with Tom is he's a very easy person to have a conversation with. We talked about the places he had visited, his outlook on life. He asked about his life in America was, job opportunities, the obstacles that may face him. Tom was a driven man evidenced by the time and effort he put in to become a nurse. And not only fulfill that wish of being able to support his family, but also doing all that while not neglecting time with his family. From the cousins up here, the Jacobs, the Phillips, and Thomas family, to the ones who could not make it here tonight, the Bennetts, the Modiels, Joe and, uh, jo and Jesse Chichi's family in India, we offer our deepest and sincerest condolences to Susan, Grace, Godwin, Gloria, and the family. God bless.
Praise God. Dear Pastor Joes, all the other servants of God, family and friends assembled here. I am Danny Kutti's cousin, Amos Mathai. Parting is always painful. Human words cannot console the grieving family members. As Matthew chapter 2.18 says, Rachel weeping for her children, she refused to be comforted because they were no more. You really need the intervention of the peace of God. When we talk about Thomas, he was the light of that family. A lot of things were revolving around him, which he could only accomplish. He was a channel of blessing to many. He was always smiling and full of energy and ready to jump in to help anybody. God called him home, sin is sea, accomplished everything God entrusted to him. His passing away is a great loss for us, but a grain for heaven. We are mourning, but heaven is rejoicing. We have a blessed hope that we can meet him again on the other shore. May the peace of God fill the world of Thomas and console the hearts and minds of Brother Matthew Chan, Darley, Susan, little children, and all other grieving family members. I sincerely condole, convey my condolences. Also, my younger brother, Thomas Matthew Chen, and family from India. Also, Sarah Mpengal and Varghis Chan from Florida also told me to convey their heartfelt condolence. They also convey the condolence of Indian Assemblies of God, youngers, all the family members, and the pastors. May God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Before I start, I, I want to extend my condolences to Susan, her parents, and all the extended family members, and all the friends. I've known Thomas for since 2012, when he first moved to Philadelphia. Because of his loving and joyful personality, immediately we became good friends. At that time, he was looking for a job related to his education. And I had a small business where I could have used his help. He started working alongside me, and we, had, we started to build the business. He was very disciplined and dedicated in whatever he did. He did everything with sincerity and always had a positive and cheerful attitude. During our breaks, we started playing ping pong, which he had never played before but he, with just few tips, he became a really good player. We used to fellowship as a family and we would just stop by. He would just stop by for a few rounds of table tennis games. He used to joke around and say, let me lose some weight and then I'll surely beat you. He was never a guest in our house as he truly felt comfortable and became like family. In 2015, we had an opportunity to spend a few days with Thomas and his family in Kerala. He even took time and drove a long way to attend my sister's wedding. He was always willing to go an extra mile in many ways and helped us in different, thing, different things. He was ready to help anyone at short notice. I have personally experienced his kindness on many occasions. And as the pastor mentioned and the family members mentioned, he never magnified his pain during his last days of trials and faced death boldly and peacefully. It is surely a great loss for me personally, as he was more like a younger brother than a friend to me.
May God comfort Susan, parents, and all the family members who are grieving during this time. Praise the Lord, I want to take this opportunity to praise and thank God for the life of Thomas. Um, as many of you have mentioned already, one thing about him was he was a very positive person. There was no dull moment when he was around Thomas. When he moved to the United States, he didn't know any of us in our church, but he made a way to come out and speak to you and get to know you and things like that, which was really touching because there are times when we would stay back after meeting to put things ready for the next day for the Sunday service, which might take up to 11 o'clock or 12, but he made an effort to stay back every single time to be a part of us for that. You know, We were very grateful. Also, many outreaches that we conducted in Allegheny, he was very very much a part of it, and he would be with us from the morning till the evening. Not that he had nothing else to do, he had kids to take care of, but he made sure he was there for a lot of those things. Throughout his life, when, he, when we found out he was sick, you know, it grieved our hearts, but he was very positive. And if you never knew him and you met him for the first time, during the time he was going through sickness, you would never know, he would have never known that he was going through something like that because he was very positive and he was never afraid of death. And, and that's something that you know, we, I personally want to take from him and, and his positive nature and, and, and things that he taught us in, in the short life that he lived. And I'm very grateful for his life. And at this time, um, you know, we extend our condolences to the family and may God comfort your hearts. Praise the Lord. ാണ് <laughs> കഴിക്കാൻ വളരെ ഇഷ്ടമായിരുന്നു തോമസിന് ഏതൊരു വീക്കെൻസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും ഞങ്ങൾ കഴിക്കാൻ പോകാമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ആദ്യം ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഗ്രൂപ്പിൽ റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് തോമസാണ് ഡാ ബാ തേഴ്സ്ഡേ ആകുമ്പോഴേ അവൻ ഓഫ് ആണെങ്കിൽ അവൻ ഗ്രൂപ്പിൽ മെസ്സേജ് ചെയ്യും അല്ലെ പേഴ്സണലി മെസ്സേജ് അയക്കും ഒരു ശാന്ത സ്വഭാവമാണ് തോമസിൻ്റേത് നമ്മൾ ദേഷ്യപ്പെട്ടെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പോലും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവനത് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടില്ലെങ്കിൽ പോലും ഒരിക്കൽ പോലും അവനത് അവൻ്റെ ഫേസിൽ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ചെയ്ത് ഞാൻ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല അത് അവൻ്റെ ബ്ലെയിം അവൻ്റെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്നൊരു തെറ്റ് പറ്റി എന്നുള്ള രീതിയിൽ എടുക്കാനേ കൂടുതലും അവൻ ശ്രമിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളൂ അങ്ങനെ എനിക്ക് ഫീൽ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളൂ റീസെൻ്റ്ലി ആണെങ്കിൽ പോലും ഞാൻ അവനോട് സംസാരിച്ചു പല കാര്യ ഒരു കാര്യത്തിൻ്റെ പുറത്ത് ഞാൻ സംസാരിച്ചപ്പോൾ അവനോട് ദേഷ്യപ്പെടുക ഒന്നുമില്ല അത് ഞാൻ വിചാരിച്ചു ആ സ്ഥാനത്ത് ഞാനായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ വല്ലാണ്ട് പൊട്ടിത്തെറിച്ച് പോയേനെ അവൻ ശാന്തനായി എന്നോട് സംസാരിച്ചു വളരെ ശാന്തനായി അത് അവൻ്റെ ഒരു നല്ല ക്വാളിറ്റിയാണ് അവൻ ഏത് കാര്യമാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ശാന്തതയോടെ ചിരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ശാന്തതയെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അവൻ അല്ലാതെ എടുക്കത്തില്ല ചിരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടേ അവൻ ആ കാര്യങ്ങൾ കേട്ടിരിക്കുകയുള്ളൂ മറുപടി പറയാതിരിക്കുമ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ നമുക്ക് ഫീൽ ചെയ്യും എന്നാലും അവൻ നമ്മളെ നമുക്ക് വിഷമമാകുമോ എന്നുള്ള രീതിയിൽ അവനൊന്നും പറയാറില്ല ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു ഒരു സഹോദരനെ തന്നെയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് നഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടത് എങ്കിലും സ്വർഗീയ തുറമുഖത്ത് അവനെ കാണാമെന്നുള്ള പ്രത്യാശയോടെ ഞാൻ നിർത്തുന്നു അതിനോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ക്രിക്കറ്റ് ക്ലബിൻ്റെ അനുശോചനവും ഞാനിവിടെ രേഖപ്പെടുത്തിക്കൊള്ളുന്നു our testimony brother saji is going to uh, share a brief word of testimony many times uh, uh, brother saji uh, came with me to go and see brother thomas and uh, pray for him so that will be the last testimony for today after the testimony uh, we will uh, stand up and uh, sing uh, sing a, an english hymn uh, then after that we'll go to the word of god while singing uh, 
if uh, you need to view the body, um, definitely by 9 o'clock we will end our service tonight. But if you are not able to uh, stay uh, till then, um, you can, while we sing the song, you can come and view the body. This is only for those who have to go. Others, uh, please don't come forward at, the, at that time. Uh, Sajj. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to say a few words about Brother Thomas. It's a great privilege to go to um, with uh, Pastor Joe's, uh, you know, God gave me opportunity to go to his house many times to pray for him. Um, whenever we go, when we pray, I can see in the spirit uh, he have a he have a hope in Christ, and I also I feel he have a no fear of death. Uh, it's really encouraged my heart, um, and also. After he diagnosed with sickness, I can see uh, he's really, you know, regularly he tried to come all the meetings, especially um, Saturday fasting and prayer, uh, Wednesday Bible study, and all the meetings regularly come and sit in the sit, especially the tarry meeting, sitting knee and knee down, and he pray. I can see it. You receive the, all the graces of God this time, you know, to ready to go. And also, I, I, you know, even though he's, he go through fiery trials, and uh, God strengthened his body to go to Madras Convention, it's really touched my heart. How he have a bold inner man is strong, really, uh, to receive the blessings of Christ. He traveled, you know, many hours. You know, even though he was very sick, and God strengthened his body and received, and he went to the Madras Convention and received the graces of God, and he preparing himself to ready to go. He have a no fear of death. He have a full of hope in Christ, and he is in better place. I want to praise and thank the Lord for that. And uh, this time I want to, um, you know, it's all the family members. Uh, we are remembering in your uh, our, your prayer, God should uh, comfort them and uh, God should bless them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shall we please stand? Singers, you may please help us.
Shall we close our eyes and bow our heads in prayer this evening? Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for your awesome presence in our midst. Holy Father, in your presence, we are consoled, we are comforted. You are the God of comfort and peace. Therefore, we give you thanks. Thank you once again for the beautiful and fragrant life of Brother Thomas. The grace of Christ that came upon his life caused his life to be gracious and beautiful in thy sight and also in the sight of men. This evening, Lord, we heard so many beautiful testimonies about his life and these testimonies were made possible because of the grace of Christ that was evident in his life continue to comfort Mr. Susan and the rest of the family now Holy Father as we look into thy holy word speak to us it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So Lord once again you speak to our hearts from your holy heart. Let your word bring comfort and hope to everyone tonight. We give you all the glory and praise. Thank you Father. Continue to abide with us tonight in Jesus precious name. Amen. You may please be seated this evening. This blessed Friday evening, once again, we greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. This evening, we heard beautiful testimonies concerning the life of Brother Thomas. I don't believe there was any exaggeration in the testimonies. Uh, different ones came forward and uh, testified about his life. These testimonies were made possible by the grace of Jesus Christ. Thomas from his young age, loved the Lord. He loved the house of God. He loved the saints of God. He was part of this apostolic fellowship where uh, he was able to grow in the divine natures of Jesus Christ. One outstanding quality that uh, I could uh, find 
uh, in uh, Brother Thomas's life was his um, um, gentleness. Always there was a gentle a smile, and uh, I could um, see meekness in his um, life. That is a great quality. The Lord Jesus said, Come and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. So meekness is the spirit of Jesus Christ. And Brother Thomas had it. I give thanks to the Lord uh, for that. As I mentioned in the beginning of the service, we, um, as a church, earnestly sought the face of God for the uh, extension of his life. Uh, people fasted and prayed. As a church, we fasted here in India also and in other uh, places, both uh, ministers of God and believers alike uh, cried out to God. He prayed for uh, a healing. Uh, he was only uh, 39 years old. We wanted him to live for some more time. Um, but God had other uh, plans. Of course, death is always painful uh, because there's a separation. Uh, Brother Thomas will not be uh, with us. Um, of course, uh, here we see his earthly remains, but the real Thomas, we know for sure, is in the presence of God. That is a very um, uh, comforting thought. Glory be to God. Um, the uh, previous night, uh, 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 on June 22nd, as we mentioned, um, we had a... Uh, beautiful time of uh, prayer and uh, I witnessed his uh, uh, sufferings. I have never seen like this before. Uh, there was distress, uh, pain, agony and um, so he was uh, asking for help. All the family members were uh, there to uh, pray for him, to encourage him, to strengthen him. And uh, um, uh, that night, Thursday evening, of course, Friday morning, he went home to be with the Lord. Thursday evening, at his request, uh, request we uh, sang this song. And um, not knowing that uh, um, within hours, God was going to uh, take him home. I personally believe that... Uh, According to his uh, calling, uh, God uh, perfected the work uh, in his uh, life. Praise be to God. May the Lord uh, continue to comfort Sister Susan. May the Lord bless the children, the younger ones. I wonder how much they can understand what God is going to be their father. Uh, the Lord will be the head of the family. May the Lord strengthen um, both parents, uh, all of you, may the Lord uh, comfort. I know here um, so many brothers, uh, sisters too, particularly brothers used to come here uh, to pray for Thomas late at, at night. So I gave them the freedom. Anytime you can come and seek the Lord. The prayer went on. Uh, for some time and I believe God received all those uh, prayers the Lord uh, did a work of grace uh, in Brother Thomas's life and now he's in the bosom of Jesus praise be to God dear ones at this time I would like to remind everyone that our life here on this earth is very very brief um, some might live up to 70 or 80 or 90 or even 100, but um, uh, 
compared with uh, eternity, that is all just a moment uh, here on this earth. So let us um, uh, live for God. Um, here in Philadelphia, I was told that one young man who was only 26 uh, uh, years old uh, passed away. I, I understand that uh, they were a godly family. And in sleep, uh, the, the young man uh, left uh, this uh, world. If he knew the Lord, definitely he's in the presence of God. I do know him uh, uh, personally. But um, I'm sharing that just to remind all of us that uh, <coughs> we are here only for a, a short uh, period of time. So while we are uh, here, while we are alive, while we are able to breathe, let us uh, serve the Lord. Let us um, uh, walk with the Lord. Praise be to God. A portion of scripture uh, was quickened in my spirit, which I would like to um, uh, share with you. Um, shall we read John chapter 11, John chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. John chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? These were the words of the Lord Jesus Christ to Martha. Um, the people of God who are familiar uh, with the Bible um, know, um, uh, know about this family. Uh, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. In John chapter 11, we read how <coughs> Lazarus um, uh, fell ill and he uh, died. And uh, Jesus was not present there. Uh, he came to uh, know about it. And uh, then uh, he was uh, uh, coming to uh, the place where Lazarus and his uh, sisters uh, lived. So um, the family was going through a, a time of uh, great uh, distress um, for these dear sisters. Their beloved uh, brother was uh, no more. And uh, the Lord Jesus knew this uh, family and um, he had fellowship with this family. And uh, so when the Lord Jesus saw their pain, their agony, their distress, um, he also uh, joined them uh, in, their, um, in their trials, in their difficulties. And uh, the Bible says uh, Jesus wept the shortest uh, uh, verse in the Bible but it has profound meaning uh, for the people of God who are following uh, the footsteps of Jesus. The Lord Jesus, um, the Son of God, became the Son of Man uh, to experience um, what um, man is experiencing. Uh, when God created Adam, he was perfect. But when he sinned against God, he lost the presence of God. He lost the glory of God. He could not remain in the garden anymore. He was thrown out. But the plan of God concerning humanity never changed. And that is why Christ came as the last Adam. Now, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, um, man can be uh, restored back to God. The blood of Jesus was shed at Calvary for the remission of uh, our sins. The Bible says we are brought near to God uh, through, the, through the blood of Jesus Christ, but it is through the Holy Spirit we have access um, 
uh, into the Holy Father in Ephesians chapter 2, we can see uh, these uh, uh, precious uh, truths. So when the Lord uh, came to this, uh, to see this family and do the needful, they were crying. Jesus also uh, cried with them. He was uh, sharing in their um, uh, difficulties. That same Jesus who visited uh, the family of Lazarus, uh, Martha and Mary is in our midst. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Can we say Amen? Amen. Praise be to God. That same Jesus is in our midst to comfort um, all of us. I know in the natural you are grieving and uh, um, it's real, it's painful, but uh, the Lord Jesus can understand our pain and he's uh, here to comfort uh, everyone. So uh, Jesus first was uh, conversing uh, with uh, Martha. To Martha only, uh, Jesus uh, said, I am the resurrection and the life. Uh, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Believest thou this? Tonight, by the grace of God, the answer is yes. We also believe. So Christ came to give us life. Uh, in Adam, we all died. But in Jesus Christ, the last Adam, we are made alive. Praise be to God. So Jesus uh, is revealing a great truth here that he is the resurrection and the life, praise be to God. So man who lost eternal life uh, through sin uh, can once again receive uh, uh, life through the person of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 14 and verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So life is found in uh, Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. He came to give us life. Jesus said in John chapter 10, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Praise be to God. That Thomas received eternal life. Um, also, um, to fulfill the righteousness of God in his life, he took water baptism. Thereafter, according to the grace that was uh, granted to him, he followed the uh, counsels of God. Praise be to God. So this evening, uh, uh, I would like to remind all of us that uh, uh, if we have received Christ into our lives, we have uh, eternal life. And uh, once we receive eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, then we need to uh, continue to uh, grow in that life. When Adam sinned spiritually, uh, he died initially, then physically also later, uh, he died. But as we receive Christ into our lives, uh, we receive uh, life. Jesus said in uh, John chapter 5, John chapter 5, please read verse 24, John 5, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Praise be to God. So as we come to Christ and receive Jesus Christ, who is eternal life, uh, we uh, pass from death unto life. So Brother Thomas had eternal life uh, uh, in him. So uh, by the grace of God, we too have eternal life uh, in us. Um, but that is just the beginning only. As we continue to obey the 
truth of the gospel, we can grow uh, in, in um, uh, uh, eternal life. Jesus said in uh, John chapter 3 and verse 3, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, <coughs> I say unto thee, except a man be born again, uh, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, 5 says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be uh, born of water and born of the spirit, um, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So here we read of three spiritual experiences or three spiritual births. Born again, born of water and born of the spirit of God. Through these uh, spiritual births or spiritual experiences, we are brought into Christ. This is how we become members of the body of Jesus Christ. In uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, we read, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or new creation. All the things are passed away. Behold, all things uh, have become new. So, when we are born again by the word of God, uh, and uh, uh, as we are um, water baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit, or as we are uh, born of water and born of the Spirit of God, we are brought into uh, Christ. These are fundamental Christian experiences we all should uh, have. Uh, being born again, born of water and born of the Spirit of God, thus we are brought into Christ. Once we are brought into Christ, uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we should uh, remain in him and grow in him. Uh, uh, to grow in Christ means uh, to grow in the divine nature of Christ. We should grow in the love of God. We should uh, grow in obedience uh, to doing the will of God. We should continue to grow uh, in faith. We should grow in uh, holiness. So from the time we receive Jesus into our lives, uh, divine nature is a form, but there has to be a um, development of the divine nature of Christ in our lives. So the divine nature of Christ should be formed, developed, and uh, perfected uh, in our lives as we are waiting for the coming of uh, Jesus Christ. So uh, we should continue to abide in Christ. As the coming of the Lord is drawing nigh, we should not think about leaving the house of God. We should not backslide. Uh, because any time the rapture can take place. As far as life of Brother Thomas is concerned, rapture has taken place uh, for him. Um, we are uh, still alive. We are here. At any time the rapture will take place or the Lord can uh, call us home. So in either case, we should uh, uh, be ready uh, to uh, meet the Lord. Praise be to God. So I want to encourage the people of God to uh, examine our hearts. Let us make sure that uh, uh, our life is really right with God. Don't keep any unwanted things in our lives such as uh, unforgiveness, bitterness, envy, jealousy. Uh, such a foul spirit should not be found uh, in our hearts. Um, we, we should be filled with the love of Calvary. We should be able to forgive uh, one another. This is the beauty of the body of the Lord uh, Jesus Christ. In Psalm 133, we read, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for <coughs> brethren to dwell together in unity. There the Lord commands his uh, um, life. Yeah, the Lord uh, commands his blessings, praise be to God. So when we live together in unity, the blessings of Zion will be uh, upon us, praise be to God. 
So God has given us eternal life, and this eternal life is in the person of Jesus Christ. In First uh, uh, John chapter five and verse eleven, we read First John five eleven. Please read. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. So God has given us eternal life and this life is in Jesus Christ. So, um, so now um, through three spiritual uh, experiences we are bro uh, brought into Christ when we are born again, born of water and born of the spirit of God, we are brought into Christ. Then we should continue to remain in Christ by the grace of God. Uh, we should grow in Christ and uh, um, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we should be brought to perfection in uh, Jesus Christ as we are waiting for the coming of Christ. Dear children of God, all the world events very clearly tell us that Jesus is coming very, very soon. Uh, I'm sure you are aware of uh, this artificial intelligence um, According to the book of Revelation chapter 13, uh, all these things uh, will have to take place. Now, the intellectuals are worried about uh, artificial intelligence. They think uh, the, these computers, these uh, robots, um, uh, these machines will uh, become superior to mankind. That fear is there. In reality, when you have time, read Revelation chapter 13, uh, the, the Antichrist is going to uh, take over the rulership of this world and uh, an image of the beast will be uh, made and uh, that image of the beast will have the ability to speak and uh, uh, that image has uh, life in it or spirit in it and uh, so the image of the uh, the beast or the, or the antichrist uh, will be able to detect e uh, everything. It will know who is not worshipping the antichrist. It will know uh, everything. So uh, when I uh, hear about these things, I rejoice. Why? Because my redemption is drawing nigh. The Lord Jesus said, when you see these things begin to come to pass, then Look up and lift up your hands for your redemption draweth nigh. Jesus is coming very, very soon. Glory be to God. So let us continue to walk with the Lord. The rapture is at hand. In uh, Revelation chapter 19, verses 7 and 8, we read, Let us be glad and rejoice and give <coughs> honor unto him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come. Uh, praise be to God. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. Um, for the fine linen is the um, righteousness of uh, saints. Praise be to God. Um, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor unto him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. Clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. In Malayalam it says, righteous deeds of the saints. I believe in one of the testimonies, um, uh, it was mentioned that uh, Thomas, uh, whatever he could do, um, he did. Uh, may the Lord count that as righteousness. Praise be to God. So may the Lord strengthen you all. God has given us eternal life. Let us continue to remain in Christ. Let us grow in that eternal life as we are waiting for the coming of the Lord. Everything is by the grace of God. Even to suffer also, we need the grace of God. As we are passing through this difficult time, may the Lord give us grace that we might be comforted. Dear children of God, that holy city, New Jerusalem, is being prepared for the bride of Christ. Hallelujah. The apostle John saw that holy city 
New Jerusalem. And uh, after having seen the city so clearly, in Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, he said, uh, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband, praise be to God. So our calling is to be part of that city, a new Jerusalem. And that is why the Lord has saved us, enabled us to take water baptism. He filled us with the Holy Spirit. God has brought us to this apostolic fellowship where we can continue to grow in the divine natures of Jesus Christ and finally be um, ready for the kingdom of God. We can be ready for that holy city, New Jerusalem. It is written, and the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory, and by the grace of God, by the grace of God, when our Jesus shall appear, we shall also appear with him in glory. We thank the Lord for the hope of resurrection. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Time does not permit me to talk about, uh, about resurrection, but uh, there is going to be a day of resurrection in the Bible. We read about seven orders of resurrection. In the order of resurrection, Christ comes first, then comes the bride of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. And according to the uh, spiritual growth, Brother Thomas uh, has attained, uh, uh, he, uh, he will partake in one of the orders of uh, resurrection, praise be to God. Definitely, he will be uh, in the presence of God in uh, eternity. That is our comfort. Um, may the Lord uh, comfort Susan and the children, praise be to God. Parents also, may the Lord strengthen you. But Thomas's father, initially we were not sure whether the dear father could travel and come, but uh, the Lord really strengthened him and brought him. Uh, may the Lord comfort all of you. May the Lord comfort all the uh, church members. I know many of you are a bit sad because of the loss of Brother Thomas, but be comforted. May the Lord uh, strengthen you. And also Thomas's sister, Lenny, uh, may the Lord strengthen her. Uh, the family really tried to bring her here, but um, uh, she did not obtain the visa. But um, she can see her uh, beloved brother Thomas in the bosom of Jesus in eternity. This is the blessed hope that God has given us. Hallelujah. So this evening, let us give ourselves to the Lord. Let us be comforted in the Lord. Uh, let us continue to walk with the Lord and do the will of God that we might be prepared for the coming of the Lord. Amen. Shall we please stand? Let us uh, thank the Lord for the uh, beautiful and fragrant life of uh, Brother uh, Thomas. Um, the work was brought to uh, perfection last uh, Friday. Uh, he is in the bosom of Jesus now. And one day, God will uh, raise him up because Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Father, shall we all praise God? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Raising up our voices together, shall we praise God? Let us give a worthy praise to the Lord of our God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Committing all the dear family members into the hands of God. Shall we all praise God? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. <coughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. If the Lord should uh, tidy, God should uh, uh, undertake for the funeral service also in the morning. Um, by 8.30, those who are able to be here, please come. Definitely, uh, uh, sharp 9 o'clock, we will uh, begin our uh, service. But if you, um, if all of you come here, even before um, 9 o'clock, 
uh, perhaps we can start the service bit uh, uh, earlier uh, or so um, to uh, save time. Praise be to God. So uh, God should undertake uh, for us. Uh, God should undertake for the weather conditions also. For that shall we praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise the 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 Lord. For the glorious hope of eternal life. For the glorious hope of seeing the face of Jesus very soon. Shall we all praise God? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! 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 Once again, giving all the glory and honor to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit for all what God has accomplished in and through the life of Brother Thomas. Shall we all praise God? Thank you, Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you. Shall we close our eyes and bow our heads in prayer? Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life. Lord Jesus, you said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, Though he were dead, yet shall he live. Brother Thomas uh, is sleeping in Jesus Christ on that resurrection morning. Yes, he will, God will wake him up. Glory be to God. He will uh, dwell with God forever and ever. We thank you for this glorious and blessed hope. We have this hope because of Jesus Christ. Because we uh, believe in the sacrificial death of Christ on the cross of Calvary. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the blood that you shed at Calvary for the remission of our sins. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you for the gospel, the good news. Yes, man can live forever with, with the uh, creator God, oh, this is glorious. This is a great hope that God has given us. Thank you again, Lord, for your presence with us. Continue to comfort and console uh, everyone here tonight. And uh, during the night seasons, watch over us. If you will tarry, bless our gathering in the morning also, Lord God. Thus far, you have been very good to us. Lord, you have been our Ebenezer, the stone of help. Hitherto have the Lord helped us. Hereafter also our God will help us. So Lord, I commit all thy precious children into your hands. Continue to keep everyone in the peace of God. We give you all the glory and praise. Thank you, Father. Bless thy children. Comfort every heart. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us all, now and until the Lord Jesus returns in his glory. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. You may please be uh, seated. We will uh, give you one more opportunity for the viewing of the uh, body. Um, Ashesh uh, uh, can um, direct people uh, uh, to the uh, front. Uh, I'm going to ask the singers to please come and uh, sing another uh, song. Um, Brother Jason, come forward. We will sing a, a Malayalam song. Shares, please help. The funeral directors, I don't know if they want to say anything.
നാടതിയിലെ ശാശ്വതമാം വീട്ടില സേവക ദൈവദൂതരല്ലോ വാഗ്ദത്ത നാടതിയിലെ ശാശ്വതമാം വീട്ടില സേവക ദൈവദൂതരല്ലോ ദൈവപ്പുൻമുഖം ദീനം കണ്ടിടും ശുദ്ധരോടൊന്ന ഞാൻ സ്തുതിച്ചിടു ദൈവ പൊൻമുഖം ദിനം കണ്ടിടും ശുദ്ധരോടൊന്ന ഞാൻ സ്തുതിച്ചിടു തേജസ്സിലേശുവിൻ പൊൻമുഖം ഞാൻ കാണും കാലമേറ്റം പൊൻമുഖം ഞാൻ കാണും കാലമേറ്റം അസന്നമേ ഈ മണ്ണിലെ ക്ലേശം അല്പകാലം മാത്രം മാഞ്ഞു പോ അത് കിനാവ് പോലി മണ്ണിലെ ക്ലേശമൽപകാലം മാത്രം മാഞ്ഞു പോ അത് കിനാവ് പോൽ നിത്യ തേജസ്സിൻ കനമാണതിൻ ഫലമെൻ പ്രിയനന്നു നൽകിടു നിത്യ തേജസ്സിൻ കനമാണതിൻ ഫലമെൻ പ്രിയനന്നു നൽകിടു തേജസ്സിലേശുവിൻ പൊൻമുഖം ഞാൻ കാണും കാലമേറ്റം അസന്നമേ തേജസ്സിലേശുവിൻ പൊൻമുഖം ഞാൻ കാണും കാലമേറ്റ 
Thank God. 